Okay, here's where I'm at now. I've got three motors for the eyeball, and five motors for the neck. So it can achieve some pretty expressive poses right now. It's a bit loud. Basically, the head can achieve uh, uh, three axes of rotation down here. Then I got this thing going on to get some other other motions going on. So the head can sort of uh, plane backwards and forwards while remaining parallel with the ground. If that makes sense. <laughs> So I've got some gear reduction going on down here and over here. Let's see if it moves in a minute. And around the back, pretty uh, standard sort of mechanism going on. Works pretty well. This rotation bit here should be able to take quite a lot of weight, so if the head gets heavier, things should be okay. I've just got her doing some random motions right now. Got a bit of an issue here. The left side of her eye, it's sort of a, a gap here, unfortunately. I think next time I go to do a molding of uh, one of these faces, I'm gonna have to put some some magnets all throughout here, probably down here too to uh, hold certain parts of the silicone to the skull, because some parts just they hang off, they get a bit loose, and it does not look good. I mean, at a distance it's looking okay, but if we have a look up here, that's looking a bit strange, right? Like, this should be in like this. So I'm using some of these motors here, uh, one, two, three in here, and then down here I've got some, uh, I guess, higher torque motors. I'm not sure I actually need them though, They're, a lot of the extra noise is coming from them, but I think I can get away with just using these, so I've got a... Printing out a second one of these. This is the uh, rotation mechanism here. Some bearings over here. I'm gonna try doing this with some of these uh, weaker motors. Try to cut down on some of this noise. Because the eyes are pretty much silent, and these three here are quite quiet. We'll see what happens.
So lately I've been trying to work on a, a mechanism to do some blinks. Um, I mean, there's a very traditional uh, mechanism for doing that for eyeballs, but I run into this problem. I'll show you here on this other head. The, uh, her eyes are enormous, and typically what you do is you have this, uh, this wrap-around thing here, where it fixes here, point of rotation. So you can do these blinks with this mechanism. The thing is, the, uh, the silicone flesh that I have around here is maybe a millimeter thick. So I can't really put uh, any kind of mechanism here for, for rotating. So I have to do the blinking sort of all from the top. So I've been working on something like that, which is unfortunately a little bit tricky. Something like this that uh, sort of slides over the top without without involving the, the side at all. And I got it kind of working. Ran into some medical problems, which uh, I haven't been able to work on this for about a month now. But I should be able to get back to it soon. See ya.